All right, I'm going to let you guys in a little secret on when I'm raising all these caterpillars, where am I keeping them? I've got a closet here, and I've got these big bins that I've been raising them in inside of the closet. And so what I do is every couple of days I go through these, and i got to clean all the frass out and make sure that the caterpillars are healthy and good. And, and good news, guys, it looks like our tawny emperors are starting to make their chrysalis. So I'm actually going to take this container out. We're going to go through it together. I'll go ahead and close this for now. We are going to go through this together. And I'm going to show you guys final instar caterpillars of the Tony Emperor and their chrysalis. So, first of all, you got to open the container. Okay, first things first, guys, final instar larva of the Tawny Emperor. They, they have a really cute little, I call them teddy bear face, because they've got this, like, they've got these big, these big, like, uh, fluffy looking ears that come off, and I'm sure if you magnify it real close, they're actually hideous spines or something like that. There we go. They've got these little ears that come up off the top. They're not actually ears. That's what I call them, just to have fun with it. But they've got these little scoli that are really small and nondescript. And those scoli look to me like teddy bear ears. And that's the way I describe them. How cute are they? So we've got a bunch of them, guys. That they're it's a green larva. You know they don't look they don't change a whole lot throughout their life cycle. They look pretty much the same when they're final in stars. When they do when they're smaller, just their head caps will change a little bit. But they're all over the place, and I would imagine that if I start hunting around, I'm going to start finding chrysalis just like this. There it is, guys. Tony Emperor Chrysalis. Cool image, guys. This is actually a final instar, a fourth instar larva, and a chrysalis all in one shot. And um, this container is full of them. So, uh, real quick, before I stop this video, what I want to show you, when the caterpillars become pre-pupil, they actually turn like this lime green like this. And this one's already attached. So he's gonna make his chrysalis here. You can see the silk pad attached there. Uh, the cremaster is attached to the silk pad that he's spun. Uh, and that's how they hang themselves and make their chrysalis. This guy, I don't know what he's doing. He's just, he still should be feeding. So I'm gonna put him back on the leaves. We've got another one over here, pre-pupil. He is gonna probably pupate here any minute. He looks like he's actually trying to split his skin, make his chrysalis. Um, they, for some reason, they like hanging out in the, the lid of our container here. But that's pretty cool, guys. Just wanted to share with you guys a little bit about the Tawny Emperor. This stage is kind of fun because we're, we're ending the... <laughs> we're nearing the end of the project and uh you know it's nice to have the entire life cycle of this butterfly documented and you know the problem is with these guys these chrysalis are so camouflaged that it's really 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 easy to throw them away because they look just like the leaf so you got to really pay attention Pay close attention to the leaves as I'm going through these and throwing away old leaves. Got to make sure that I'm not tossing uh, chrysalis along with it. And so that's pretty cool. I need to clean this container, which I'm going to show you some footage of now. And I'm going to, you know, start taking these caterpillars out. I got to put them all, put all the caterpillars. Actually, I'm not going to, I don't know. I probably won't change out the leaves quite yet. These leaves seem pretty good. Um, 
The hackberry leaves stay really, really good if they're kept in a, you know, airtight container. So as you can see, it sweats a little bit and you got to keep, you know, you got to keep managing the condensation buildup, but they, the hackberry leaves stay fresh if it, if it stays in a container that is sealed and, you know, the caterpillars can't get out either because if it wasn't sealed, these guys would be crawling all over the place. But All I'm, right, we're nearing the end of our Tawny Emperor project. And we've got chrysalis, 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 chrysalis. This is... Awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. We've got chrysalis, guys. And um, it's time to begin. And we got we got larva too. Uh, it's time to begin the process of um, hunting down all the chrysalis before I don't know, before they get eaten off the leaves by their siblings um, as you can see these things have gone to town since the last time I've gone in this container and the caterpillars are starting to grow and they're starting to eat a lot more ferociously which is great news um, and I, some of them are starting to make their chrysalis so I gotta go into this container and I gotta pluck all these larvae off these leaves and Put them in this container, get all new leaves in here, with and and try not to throw any chrysalis out. So I'm sure there's going to be chrysalis in and amongst these uh, these leaves here. So we're going to check this out and see if what we can find here. Okay, one thing we're we're seeing here with these tawny emperors is that they actually go into some kind of hibernation state. It looks like in third instar. I don't know why some of them did this and some of them didn't, but they make a little house for themselves out of silk. And then they they kind of go into this. Let's see if I can. They go into this like vegetative state where they just sit there. I've had probably 60% of my caterpillars what looks to be in third or beginning of fourth instar go into this hibernation state. And uh, kind of interesting, some of them turn brown, some of them stay green. So I'm not sure what's up with that. But that's kind of throwing a little wrench in my breeding program here. So got to figure out how to deal with hibernating caterpillars. And I just wanted to show you guys, this larva right here is definitely pre-pupil. And We'll be making its chrysalis here shortly, and hopefully I'll be able to get you some video of the caterpillar making its chrysalis. So um, he'll spin a huge silk pad and attach his cremaster, and, and the magic will begin. Let's see if we can get that on video. This dude is gyrating away. He's been at this for like 15 minutes. I've been sitting there watching this thing for like 15 minutes. And that skin just won't split. Oh wait, there it goes. It's happening. Lorenzo, it's happening. Yeah. Quick, come here, quick, 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 quick. All right, the skin split. It's probably easier to look at on the phone. You see it? The skin up by the head split and the chrysalis starts to push its way out. Oh yeah, look at that. And then the whole skin of the caterpillar comes. Wow. It curls up into a little ball by the tail. And then the whole thing takes like two minutes.